Hello everybody, welcome back. Now we are ready to plot our first MATLAB figure. So usually we'll start with the figure 1 command which create a figure called figure 1. Here, I would like to dock it into the into here so it's easier to for us to watch the figure. And then we need to generate data as we want to plot. Here I will create a x variable, x1, from minus 2.5 to plus 2.5 with a 0.5 increase. We will say it's a 11 number, 11 numbers vector. And we will generate a dependent variable as a sign function of x1. And then plot plot y1 against x1. That's it. You see the part of a sign function. Mm, not very pretty, very simple. And one thing I uh, worth worth notice that here we only have 11 points, and the figure is basically straight lines connecting each point. So each of the segment, small segment, is a straight line. If you zoom in, it's very clear. You say a straight line. And uh, now let's make this figure looks better. In order to, to compare, I will create another y variable. I call it y2, which is shifted up from y1 by 0.5. You see the semicolon surprise the uh, result dis from displaying, from being displayed in the command window. If you if I use hold on, if I directly plot the y2 here, let's say you have y2, but the x1, you have y, but y1 disappeared. If you want to have both of them on the same figure, you got to turn on hold on, and I will do I will replot y y1 back. And here, when I plot y2, I, I added some, the third extra argument for plot function. It's a string, and it's in, interpreted in this way. You have a two hyphen together, means I want you the dash, dashed line. And r is for red color, and i see the square marker. And of course, we can have more properties to there are more properties can be specified. For example, the, the learn width, learn width, marker color, marker age color, and the marker size. Let's check out the result. Mm, looks much better. Next, we can add leg legend for these two plots. We have one plot, two plots, and uh, the, f the legend Everything in the parentheses mm, is legend as a character string, and the first string is a legend for the first plot, and the second string is uh, for the second plot, of course. But uh, the first or second depends on the order you plot this function. So remember, I plot this one first and this one later. As a result, the label is kind of reversed. Anyway, I just want to show you the label. Of course, we can change the location of the label to northwest, and we can remove the box of the label. See here, and um, then some basic function to add a title. And you can, of course, adjust the size of the title. And uh, X label and Y label. You see here, the first argument is uh, is don't have a keyword. It's just uh, the string you want to use as a as a label. And then the second argument is font size. You got to specify its name or the keyword for that argument. Then follow followed by the size. 
and later if you want to save this figure you use print print here get the current figure get the current figure will return your handle for the figure you have here and uh, the name of the file you want to save and the format of the file PNG I don't know why they put a D here but it's just uh, for PNG file alright let's check out our result now we have it here take a look by default you, you see the size of the figure is different from the one shown in the window in the screen I will talk later about how to set and adjust the size of the output file okay that's conclude our first the very first figure from MATLAB see you next time